Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you how I store all of my shoes and clothes and jewellery. I think I have quite a lot of shoes and clothes, I know my husband thinks I do, and we are currently living in a rented house that was built in about the 1950s, 1960s, so there's no big walk-in closet or anything like that. So if you want to see how I store everything in a fairly small amount of space, just keep watching. Right, in the corner of our bedroom is this really narrow closet. It's not very big at all. Oh, before I go closer, I'll show you. That's where I store my workout shoes, my slippers, and my necklaces. Okay, so this closet, the top one, it's kind of hard to get to, so I don't store much in there. That's just clothes that don't fit me right now. So in the closet, which is all my clothes, Grant's clothes are in the spare room closet. Uh, on the back of the door, I've put these hooks from the dollar store and the top rack holds my workout gear. So my jacket and then I have shorts, top, sports bra, shorts, top, sports bra. So I have two sets so I can just grab them in the morning, no excuses. And when one sets in the wash, I have another to wear. Below that, I put another rack of hooks and I have my camisoles and tank tops hanging on there. Right. This rack, the hanging rail, was lower, but when my dad was visiting, he put it up higher for me, and then I've been able to put one of those um, mm, portable clothing racks underneath, so I have double hanging space, so there's overview. This isn't all my clothes, I'll show you the next closet in a minute. So at the top, I'll start at the right, I have long sleeve t-shirts, three quarter sleeve t-shirts, and then my short sleeve t-shirts are kind of in color order ending with black. These are just casual scruffy around the house t-shirts. Um, then I have some spare hangers, some shorts and then these are my pants and I also have a maxi skirt, two maxi skirts and a short skirt there. So I've labeled the hangers with my label maker and then I've just put tape over it because when you're standing looking at this you're not going to know what's what. So the label tells me which pants are on there. I've labelled it just in a way that makes sense to me. So these are my ponty pants with the belt loops, um, ponty pants with the seams down the front, bootleg jeans that go with flat shoes, long jeggings, short jeggings, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> okay, on the left I have a little belt organiser that I got on eBay. This turns. And I just have all my belts there, they just hang down behind this rack. Move out the way, I have a, a skirt hanger that I've added extra clips to. So this holds ribbons that I use as belts and extra belts on the end. And then behind that I have a clear plastic shoe, I guess like pocket rack, and got my little do not disturb door sign that I made, and bangles and things like that. Okay. Moving down, this rack has fleeces and then cardigans. I have lots of cardigans and sweaters and they're in colour order. So if I'm looking for a particular cardigan, I know exactly where to reach to grab it. Okay, these drawers are from Ikea. The top drawer has my underwear and socks and things I use at night time like my sleep mask and my lip balm. I don't think anyone needs to see my underwear. But in there are these drawer dividers, um, they're just like canvas containers. I have those at the top and I just throw like knickers into one, bras, whatever, I don't fold my underwear. Ain't nobody got time for that. So this drawer has my pyjamas in these two. I'll either have pyjama bottoms and tops or I'll have winter and summer depending what time of year it is, if it's a transitional time. This has my little mod modesty panels and bands, which I'll link to the blog post below about that. Uh, these are slips, petticoats, and magic knickers or spanks. Those are knee high socks, these are thicker tights and fishnet tights, and then these are like pantyhose and thinner um, nylons. The bottom drawer holds things like spare linens and my essential oils, so no clothes in there. So as I showed you before, kind of next to the door, 
I have this rack. It's actually a magazine rack from Ikea. It had little canvas bins that hang on those rails, but I just took them off and I use it to store necklaces. At the top I have some rings. I made little S hooks from paper clips. Um, shorter necklaces, bangles and bracelets with on more S hooks over there. And then longer necklaces can just hook on these side bits. Inside my top drawer with my underwear, I have these bead storage boxes and they have all my earrings and pendants. This one's half empty because this one usually sits on top of it. Um, this is my most frequently worn earrings and pendants and rings. This closet is actually in Noah's room. He has two closets and there's storage up there as well. I think this used to be the master bedroom originally in the house. But he didn't need the second closet, so my clothes are in there. Um, on the back of the door are his hoodies, which he stores on one of those dollar store hooks, hook rack thingies. Um, there's an overview, there's a shelf, one hanging rail, and then space underneath. So at the bottom, I store my boots. And the way I get my boots to stand upright is with empty plastic water bottles. So they act as boot trees and keep the boots from flopping over and damaging the zip. On the top shelf is clothes that the boys have outgrown or are about to grow into that I need to sort out. Um, on the right here there's a hook and I store my broader belts there. I don't wear wide belts very often because they don't look good on me, I'm short-waisted. But that's where I stash those. Then here I have some jackets. Um, then I have this organizer. I think it's for ties that I got off eBay and I just store my scarves on there because it's easy just to kind of hook it on. Um, then I have blouses and button-down shirts. Then we have skirts. I use these hangers and if the skirt doesn't have belt loops, uh, hanger loops, then I sew some on because that's just how I prefer to hang my skirts. So there's skirts and maxi skirts there. Um, then we have tunics, which I wear over leggings and jeggings. And then the rest are dresses stored in length from shortest to maxi dresses on the end. And then on that hook, the boys' belts, which they don't really wear. Oh, and here's some out-of-season pants. So in winter, my shorts will go here, and in summer, my trousers will go there. Okay, this is a corner of the hallway. We have Daniel's room on the right, the spare room behind me, that's the door to the garage. And this is a billy bookcase from Ikea. It's got kitchen cabinet doors on, they don't actually go on the billy. And I've also added these little decorative corbels. On the top shelf, I just have two pairs of sandals. And then this, it's like a one of those drinks containers. I got that at a thrift store and this has my summer sandals in. Um, so I can just grab that when we're going somewhere and I need to put shoes on. Okay, the top, this used to be my craft cabinet so it has cork inside. The top has my beautiful colourful shoes. I love colourful shoes. So I store them, one facing forward, one facing back because you can fit twice as many shoes on the rack that way. So just pretty colours heels and wedges in rainbow order. Okay, and then down below it's kind of less appealing to the eyes. I've jammed extra shelves in there, obviously the billy doesn't come with this many shelves. So I just have heels, flats, the flats I stack on top of each other, wedges, just whatever. I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> I love shoes. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you got one or two ideas from it. Uh, if you did, leave that in the comments below and let me know what inspired you. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.